Hello and welcome to everyone in our YouTube channel. This is Sanjeev Sanjari from St. Joseph School. Today I am here with a video on one of the chapter of optional mathematics, its matrix. So this video is entirely on basic concept of matrix and I hope this video will be useful for class 8, 9 and 10 which is basic concept. So let's start today's video. What is matrix? You will get the definition of matrix in different books and uh, one of the definition I have extracted here in the figure. It is like this, a matrix is a rectangular arrangement of numbers, alphabets, etc. in row and column enclosed between round or square brackets. Examples are given there, you can see in the figure, uh, two examples are given there, simple examples. For a class uh, 9 and 10, they already have understood what are rows and columns, I have explained that in the class. But uh, class 8, if some of you have not understood what are rows and columns, I have written that in the bracket as well in the definition. And I have explained that uh, with the help of figure as well in the example section here. In the example section, you will see that uh, there are two boxes in the first one so which are parallel to the lines of the paper so i have also written in the uh, bracket that rows are horizontal lines so uh, in matrix the number if they are arranged in parallel to the paper line then they form row and uh, they are categorized uh, from top to down first one is from top and uh, second one uh, below that and third one below that but here uh, here are only two rows because there are only two uh, horizontal lines made by the numbers so first one is one and two they form the first row which are parallel to the lines of the paper and uh, three and four they are also parallel to the line but one and two are on the f uh, first or top that's why they are called the first row whereas uh, 3 and 4 are below them that's why they are the second row means they form second row the element of first row are 1 and 2 whereas the element of second row are 3 and 4 and another one is the column so what are the columns they are also the arrangement of numbers but vertical to the line of the paper okay so here you can see uh, the first one 1 and 3 they are uh, arranged vertical to the lines of the paper whereas 2 and 4 are the second column uh, it starts like this uh, the column starts from left hand side and we go, goes on to right hand side means first column is from left hand side second column then right to that so they, they form a uh, column in this way and the, they are categorized first second third column from left to right but in case of uh, row first row is at the top second row below them below that and third row below uh, second row it is like this it's very simple so as you have uh, seen there and the elements of first column are one and three uh, whereas uh, the second column are two and four so this is row and column so now uh, let's uh, go uh, how the matrix are uh, denoted because uh, there are a lot of problems where the matrix are denoted by a symbol so how is it denoted matrix are denoted by capital alphabet letters okay so here uh, it is shown in the figure as well it is uh, written the matrix are usually denoted by capital letters such as a b c etc and the examples also given there here the above two examples which i had uh, given as example of matrix i have represented them with the help of alphabet here a is equals to 1 2 3 4 and b is equals to a b c yeah it is given there so it's uh, simple to represent a matrix with the help of capital alphabet letters now we know how a matrix is represented or denoted uh, now let's go inside part of the matrix matrix consists of uh, numbers alphabets etc arranged in a rectangular way these each 
numbers or alphabet in the rectangular arrangement is called an entry or an element of the matrix as for example here matrix A has some numbers as its member and these members 1, 2, 3, 4 are the elements of matrix A. Now we know what are elements. So let us know how are they represented as matrix are represented with capital alphabet letters. The elements are also represented but they are represented with reference to the matrix means the elements of a matrix are uh, denoted by corresponding small letters with double subscript that is a i j example this is for example of matrix a which denotes each elements position in the matrix matrix a ko element lai small a le represent garinchha matrix b ko ele elements lai small b le represent garinchha ra c ko element lai C le. Thora, you sang sang a subscript transa. Sub by A sang upon a subscript transa, B sang upon a small C sang upon a subscript transa. Use double subscript transa. You double subscript I J go form mounza. You I the J one a Q one a I represents the number of row, whereas J represents the number of column where that element lies. So, a slice of my order example, but a top are like Buzona Zansu. Uh, in the figure, I have taken a uh, standard notation for a uh, 2 by 2 matrix A. Yeah, capital A matrix like represent got you go so on A11, A12, A21, A22 elements like represent got you because has A is small, so elements like use got you A is small, so capital A is for uh, matrix, whereas small A is for the members, the elements and they have got two subscript two numbers ha hernus ta te sabai le tinar ko position ko bare ma bhani raha ko huncha jastai a11 this says it is the element of matrix a which lies in first row and first column so it's very simple 11 banale 1 first one represents first row Whereas second one represents first column, means element of first row and first column. Just the another element is there A12, which is the element of matrix A that lies in first row and second column. Just the A21 is the element of matrix A that lies in which row? Yes, that lies in second row and first column. And the last one is A22. This is the element of matrix A which lies in second row and second column. So, it's very simple representation of the elements of a matrix. As my Yola could I have got some of these students, sometimes good students, they have problem regarding representing a word equation in terms of matrix form. So, this is like I have tried from my part to show some of the examples how the word equations are represented in the form of matrix. So, I have taken uh, here an example of that. Okay, let us go with that. How to convert word problems into matrix form? Suppose a student of class 9 obtained 95 marks in maths, 80 in science and 70 in English in first term and he also obtained 90 marks in maths, 85 in science and 72 in English in second term. The question is saying represent the above information in matrix form. Yeah, uh, you Jun Matiko question sir, tell I do pericarly a mirror represent gonna socks on. Do it a way correct to the pilot dandinupanicura, scovarimasimia, key janka dinner chansu. 
सिंपल छ धेरै गाह्रो के पनि छैन खालि अलिअलि फरक छ जसको बारेमा म सोलुसन भइसकेपछि पछाडी म तपाईहरुलाई भन्नेछु कि के के अलिकति फरक छ हेर्नुस् त पहिलो यो जुन ब्रैकेट छ यसमा मैले के गरेको छु भने सब्जेक्टलाई हरिजन्टली अरेन्ज गरेको छु भने एग्जामलाई भर्टिकली अरेन्ज गरेको छु हेर्नुस् त सब्जेक्ट जुन ब्रैकेट छ सब्जेक्ट म्याथ साइन्स इंग्लिश भनेर हरिजन्टली अरेन्ज भएको छ भने एग्जाम चाहिँ भर्टिकली फर्स्ट टर्म र सेकेन्ड टर्म अरेन्ज भएको छ र त्यही अनुरूपमा उनीहरूको त्यही सेक्सनमा चाहिँ मार्क्सहरू मैले अरेन्ज गरेर राखेको छु त्यहाँ विचारोस् त सब्जेक्ट म्याथ्समा फर्स्ट टर्ममा अपटेन गरेको मार्क्सलाई फर्स्टमा र सेकेन्ड टर्ममा अपटेन गरेको मार्क्सलाई त्यसको तलमा अरेन्ज गरेको छु भने साइन्सको त्यसरी नै फर्स्टमा फर्स्ट टर्मको अनि त्यसपछि सेकेन्ड टर्मको त्योभन्दा तल अरेन्ज गरेर राखेको छु सो यहाँ म्याथ साइन्स इङ्ग्लिस हरिजेन्टली माथि छ भने एक्जाम फर्स्ट टर्म र सेकेन्ड टर्म तल भर्टिकली छ सो यसरी अरेन्ज गर्दाखेरि जुन म्याट्रिक्स फर्म हुन्छ त्यो म्याट्रिक्सको स्वरूप चाहिँ मैले तपाईँहरूलाई त्यसको साइडमा देखाएको छु हेर्नुहोस् विच इज नाइन्टी फाइभ एटी सेभेन्टी नाइन्टी एटी फाइभ सेभेन्टी टू सो जुन चाहिँ तपाईँहरूले हेर्नुहोस् जुन ब्रैकेटभित्र नम्बरहरू जसरी अरेन्ज भएर बसेको छ त्यसैलाई खाली रेक्टाङ्गुलर फर्ममा स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट अर राउन्ड ब्रैकेटलाई इन्क्लोज गरेर त्यहाँ साइडमा म्याट्रिक्स फर्ममा देखाएको छु सो इट्स भेरी सिम्पल खाली यति मात्र तपाईँहरूले विचार्नु पर्ने हो कि जहाँ फर्स्ट टर्म छ फर्स्ट टर्मको मार्क्सलाई फर्स्ट टर्मकै लाइनमा राख्नुपर्छ तपाईँहरूले नाइन्टी फाइभ एटी र सेभेन्टी भने सेकेन्ड टर्मको मार्क्सलाई सेकेन्ड टर्मकै लाइनमा जसरी त्यहाँ अरेन्ज गरेको गरिएको छ ब्रैकेटहरू त्यसरी नै अरेन्ज गरेर राख्नुपर्ने हुन्छ यताउति झिकझ्याक गर्नुहुँदैन त्यस्तै म्याथ्सलाई फ पनि फर्स्ट टर्ममा अपटेन गरेको मार्क्स जुन छ म्याथ्समा त्यसलाई फर्स्ट टर्मकोमा र सेकेन्ड टर्ममा अपटेन गरेकोलाई सेकेन्ड टर्ममा राख्नुपर्ने हुन्छ तल माथि गर्नुहुँदैन त्यसो गर्दा म्याट्रिक्स फर्मेसनमा मिस्टेक हुन्छ अथवाइज त्यस्तो त नर्मल मिस्टेक पनि गर्नुहुँदैन तपाईँहरूले तर इट्स भेरी सिम्पल त्यसरी अरेन्ज गरेर राख्दाखेरि सजिलो छ यो एउटा वे हो एना देर इज एनदर वे एज वेल जस्तो रिप्रेजेन्ट गर्न सकिन्छ अहिले अगाडिको मा हामीहरूले के गरेका थियौँ भने सब्जेक्टलाई चाहिँ अरेन्ज गर्दाखेरि हामी हरिजेन्टली अरेन्ज गरेका थियौँ भने एक्जामलाई चाहिँ हामीहरूले भर्टिकली अरेन्ज गरेका थियौँ यही इन्फर्मेसनलाई हामीले म्याट्रिक्स फर्ममा अर्को प्रकारले पनि गर्न सक्छौँ जस्ट प्लेस चेन्ज गरेर भन्नाले सब्जेक्टलाई हरिजेन्टली अरेन्ज गरेको थियौँ अब सब्जेक्टलाई चाहिँ हामी भर्टिकली अरेन्ज गर्छौँ भने एक्जाम जसलाई हामीले फर्स्ट केसमा भर्टिकली अरेन्ज गरेका थियौँ त्यसलाई चाहिँ अब हामीले हरिजेन्टली अरेन्ज गर्छौँ एनदर फिगर इज हेयर एक्जाम फर्स्ट टर्म र सेकेन्ड टर्म हरिजेन्टली अरेन्ज गरिएको छ भने सब्जेक्टलाई म्याथ साइन्स इङ्ग्लिसलाई भर्टिकली अरेन्ज गरिएको छ र तिनीहरूको करेस्पोन्डिङ मार्क्सलाई हामीले प्लट गरेका छौँ अन द बेसिस अफ टर्म म्याथ्सलाई फर्स्ट टर्मको फर्स्टमा सेकेन्ड टर्मको सेकेन्डमा गरेर हामीले अरेन्ज गरेका छौँ सो त्यसरी अरेन्ज गर्न सकिन्छ यसरी हेर्दाखेरि अनि जुन म्याट्रिक्स फर्मेसन हुन्छ हेर्नुहोस् त त्यहाँ नाइन्टी फाइभ नाइन्टी एटी एटी फाइभ सेभेन्टी सेभेन्टी टू सो यसरी पनि म्याट्रिक्स हामीले अरेन्ज गर्न सक्छौँ खालि डिफ्रेन्स यति हो कि पहिलो केसमा हामीहरूले हरिजेन्टली अरेन्ज गर्दाखेरि सब्जेक्टलाई अरेन्ज गरेका थियौँ गरेका थियौँ भने सेकेन्ड केसमा त्यही सब्जेक्टलाई हामीले भर्टिकली अरेन्ज गरेका छौँ अनि फर्स्ट सेक फर्स्ट केसमा चाहिँ हामीहरूले एक्जामलाई भर्टिकली अरेन्ज गरेका थियौँ त्यसलाई हामीले सेकेन्ड केसमा चाहिँ हरिजेन्टली अरेन्ज गरेका छौँ म्याट्रिक्स खाली फर्मेसनमा अलिकति चेन्ज भएको छ त्यसको बारेमा हामी अर्डरको बारेमा हामी पछि डिस्कस गर्नेछौँ र यसरी चाहिँ म्याट्रिक्स फर्म गर्छौँ हामीहरूले सो इट्स भेरी सिम्पल अब अब नेक्स्ट क्वेसन रिगार्डिङ दि बेसिक कन्सेप्ट अफ म्याट्रिक्स इज एउटा म्याट्रिक्स दिएको हुन्छ र तिनीहरूको एलिमेन्ट निकाल्नुको लागि हामीहरूलाई क्वेसन आउँछ अथवा तिनीहरूको एडिसनहरूको बारेमा क्वेसन आउँछ सो त्यसको इक्जाम्पल हेभ गिभन सेकेन्ड इक्जाम्पल अफ वट एभर हेभ टट इल नाउ इज न्युमेरिकल रिलेटेड विथ एलिमेन्ट्स अफ अ म्याट्रिक्स इट्स गुन इज गिभन हियर इफ एज गस टू थ्री फोर माइनस टू वन फाइन्ड ए टू वन ए वन टू एन्ड ए टू वन प्लस ए वन टू र यो हामीले ए टू वन ए वन टू एन्ड ए टू वनहरूको बारेमा हामीले चाहिँ योभन्दा अगाडि पनि डिस्कस गरेका थियौँ सो ए टू वन भनेको के हो त रिपिट 
ओके ए टू वन बने एलिमेंट अफ मैट्रिक्स ए विच लाइज इन सेकेंड रो एंड फर्स्ट कलम इसो निहा हेन तब ठैक्क था सेकेंड रो बने कुन हो तो ओके यस सेकेंड रो बने माइनस टू वन हो तेस को सेकेंड रो को फर्स्ट एलिमेंट सेकेंड रो फर्स्ट कलम हेन तो हे कुन में पर्च सेकेंड रो माइनस टू वन तेस को फर्स्ट कलम में पड़ने कुन हो माइनस टू सो हि दी एंसर इज ए टू वन इज गस टू माइनस टू तस्त ए वन टू बने एलिमेंट अफ फर्स्ट रो एंड सेकेंड कलम फर्स्ट रो को सेकेंड कलम में पड़ने भाला इट इज फोर सो इट्स वेरी वेरी सीम्पल एंड इट इज आस्किंग फाइंड ए टू वन प्लस ए वन टू मीन्स ए टू वन इज माइनस टू एंड ए वन टू इज फोर सो बाई डुइंग क्याकुलेसन यूल गेट दी एंसर इज टू सो सो एंसर इज लाइक दिस गिवन इन द फिगर Now uh, let's discuss about one of the important thing of matrix that is order of matrix. So to explain the order of matrix, I have given here one example. Suppose that is a matrix. So it has C. Observe there in that matrix, how many rows and columns are there? Yeah, you can. We have got that. Yeah, it's you have uh, here. In this matrix, three rows and two columns. Then the order of matrix A is three by two. A multiplication like sign is in between three and two, but it is read as three by two. Definition of order of matrix is like that. Uh, the order of matrix is number of rows by number of columns. And order of matrix is, is also known as dimension or shape or size of the matrix. So let's do some of the numericals related with the order of matrix. One of the numericals is given it over there, here, uh, which is related with the determination of order of matrix. Uh, question is given there. Means any matrix will be given, and you will be asked to find out the dimension or shape or the size of the matrix. Okay, so one of the example here: uh, How many rows and columns do does this matrix has? It has one row and three columns. Thus, the order of given matrix is one by three. Okay, uh, important notice for this: Sometimes a matrix is given, and it is, uh, for example, there is given a matrix. Uh, four to three, it is also written as a one by three. Means uh, the capital letter of alphabet is followed by one by three. That means that matrix is a matrix having one row and three column. It is represented in a higher level in that way. So you should be able to understand what does that a one by three means. It means that it is a matrix having one row and three column. This is one uh, aspect of the order of matrix. Let's go to another numerical re related with the uh, order of matrix. So uh, construct a matrix A of order two by two, whose elements are given by A i j is equals to i plus two j. Here. The general equation for the element of the matrix is given, and it is asking to find out the uh, matrix. So, as it is two uh, two by two matrix, so we are considering the mat matrix as a one one, a one two, a two one, a two two, as it has two or uh, row and two columns. So, order is verified. So, now uh, the solution. The solution is here. Yeah, uh, it's like that. The general equation is written there. You can see in the figure here. Yeah, the general equation is a i j is equals to i plus two j. Then for a one one, i is equals to one and j is equals to one. So it will give one plus two into one. 
so it will uh, at last give 1 plus 2 is equals to 3 for a 1 2 i is equals to 1 j is equals to 2. So, its value will come out as 1 plus 2 into 2 is equals to 1 plus 4 is equals to 5 and uh, a to 1 is equals to 2 plus 2 into 1 is equals to 2 plus 2 is equals to 4. So, you can see here and the last one you can uh, find out the value what is the value yes it is 6. So, now uh, a 1 1 is 3, a 1 2 is equals to 5, a 2 1 is equals to 4 and a 2 2 is equals to 6. So, you can arrange that uh, in their position and the solution is 3, 5, 4, 6 which is uh, in the figure. So, that is the uh, required solution. So, now uh, here is uh, homework for you, home assignment, there are 4 questions you can see observe it properly. So, these are the 4 questions for your homework from today's uh, uh, video. So, uh, do it, it is very simple and we will continue uh, with the next part of this video later on. Okay, till then, take care, have a good time, bye bye.